We're buying more and more stuff online nowadays, and that means we have to send more and more of our sensitive credit card information across the web. Now, we can't just send these details as is, because you never know who's going to be watching. So what we do instead is encode these details. Think of it like this. This padlock is a computer program which encodes the data. This key is a different computer program that decodes it at the other end. So all we have to do, if I want to send my credit card across the net, is to stick it in the box and lock it with my padlock. Take the key out, and then I can send my credit card to anyone I want. Doesn't matter if it's intercepted on the way, because it's coded, and no one, apart from my key, can unlock the information. Eventually, it makes its way to the internet shop. My credit card details have arrived safe and sound. Now, there's one thing left to do. I've somehow got to send my key to the internet shop without it being intercepted. It works like this. The internet shop sends me a box, and also their padlock. It's open, and it doesn't have a key. They keep hold of the key. So I lock my key inside their box. I use their open padlock to safely lock my key away. I can't open it, no one can open it. Only the internet shop has the key. So now I can safely send my locked key across the net. Again, it doesn't matter who intercepts it on the way, it's locked. Only the internet shop can open it. Eventually, the box reaches the internet shop. They use their key to unlock their padlock, which releases my key to unlock my padlock. Hey presto, my credit card details have arrived safe and sound. So whenever you're imparting sensitive information on the web, make sure you can see a picture of a padlock in the bottom of your internet browser. Then you know the encryption is at work and you can buy with confidence.